Welcome to the Quick Show tutorial chapter 9 on Quick Capture. Quick Capture is a tool that allows you to capture what Quick Show is doing at any given time into a single queue to make it convenient to trigger that queue at any point later on. It might sound a little bit vague, but I'll show you exactly how it works. For example, what I'm going to do is go ahead and trigger this queue here. I'll turn on the laser output and go into a multi-mode and trigger another queue over here on the targets page. Now let's say we're going to come back here on the graphics page and I'm here in this backgrounds page here. And What I'm going to do, even though it's not really the correct place for it, I'll create a DMX queue and put it there and trigger that. So we have three separate kinds of queues. We have a graphic queue here, a DMX queue here, and a beam queue here, all running at the same time. Now let's say we like this look and we want to make this happen instantly at the click of a button. So what we could do pretty easily, I'm just going to come over back over here to this animals tab, click on quick capture. This tab here is the quick capture tool. It could be used in a lot of different ways. Maybe the easy way is to just push this button here. It will capture what's happening in this preview window into a single queue. You can see it's it's this plus this plus this. And it's playing there. So what I could do is just hit blackout and drag and drop this to a queue here. And now if we want to trigger all three of those things at the same time, since I've captured it and then dragged it and dropped it into this queue, if I want to do that same thing again, all I have to do is click on that. We have one queue that I'm clicking and it instantly triggers all three of these things at the same time. Quick Capture can work on any combination of cues that happen to be playing, whether they're beam related, graphic related. For example, I'll go back here into a multi-mode, click on this queue and this queue and this queue. And so, you know, and we can even modify these and move them around and so forth as I typically do in my demos. So we have three graphic cues running. If we really like this, it's no problem. All we have to do is click on capture. We can capture all three of these things to a queue as you can see here and then just drag and drop this down and there we have it. So we have it in that one queue. Anytime we want it we just click on that one thing and it instantly starts all three of them. So it's pretty nice that way. A couple of details about the quick capture. One of the things that we'll notice is this little icon here which looks remarkably similar to the pointer icon in Windows, See that little pointer, that means that's a pointer to Quick Show. This isn't Quick Show on the desktop, this is a pointer to Quick Show. And likewise, this isn't a queue, this is a pointer to a queue. So it means that when I activate the Quick Capture, what it's really going to do is point to that queue, point to that queue, and point to that queue. What do I, what do I mean by a pointer? Well, if we take a look here, we also see this little icon here, that little thing right there. That's a pointer. It means something is pointing to this queue. And since this capture here also is pointing to that one and that one, we have that same little pointer happening right there. That pointer, okay, so if I click on this and right click it and click properties and say used by, it means that this queue is also used by these two other queues, Q59 and Q60, on the animals page, Q59 and Q60 here, are pointing to this. Now when it's a pointer, what that means is that if I modify this, if I right click here and say edit the frame or animation, I take this and I'm going to, let's say we just clear this, and what I'm going to do is draw the name Bill just like that. So I'm, I've modified this queue and so what we see down here is that these quick captures have also been modified because all these are is a pointer to this queue. So if, it means if this queue changes at any time what's been captured is also going to be changed because what's been captured is the pointing aspect. It means that I'm going to point to this queue here. Queue number one on on this animal's page is what I'm pointing to. Now there's another way that we can create a capture so that it's not a pointer. 
for example, um, and as I said that there's a lot of different ways in which we can use this quick capture tool. What I'm going to do is clear this out, menu, new, and so that gives me a fresh new start here. And we see this little hint here, drag a queue here. So what I can do is I can just drag a queue there, just drag and drop it, and it says, okay, plus drag a queue here. If I want to, I can continue dragging and dropping queues down to there from other pages or, or what have you. And we still see this little pointer. Now, if I right click on this, what I can do is you see this menu here that says convert to a local queue. And I'm going to do that for all three. Now, what that means is that w what we've done is we've converted those three into local memory. So this here, this quick capture, is no longer a pointer. It's really captured this into a memory. So now if I drag and drop that, this is memory now. So it's, it's go always going to look like that, regardless of if I change the original cues or not. And we notice here uh, that we don't have that little pointer, pointer button sticking there. So, so I could change this now. I can come over here and edit this. Uh, we'll just get rid of that and we'll draw something else like um, one, two, three. And what we see is this has one, two, three in it, but this doesn't. And what I created here doesn't either because when we convert it to a local queue, it will put it into a local memory so that it's always going to be that way no matter what even if these queues change so now this takes up a little bit more memory in the computer which is why we don't make that the default and also it could be that for certain applications it could be very handy that you have this which is really just a pointer to these things rather than this capturing the actual information itself and so that's that's a little bit of a detail with the quick capture and um, there's one more detail with Quick Capture. What I'll do is just click black out here and just start a few animations running. Let's say these two. There's another way to do a, a capture. It's a lot easier, which is, okay, we've got this running right now. And if I simply click on this and drag it to a queue, that's another way to capture it. So that's really the easiest thing. If you get what you would like, you just drag and drop it to a queue, and there it is. Now, the way you edit Quick Captures is exactly the same way that you edit any Quick Tool. Like, for example, if I come over here to Backgrounds 1, this DMX that I created, if I drag and drop this down here, we get the three little black arrows saying that this is the tool that you use to edit that. Well, likewise, if I click on any one of these little captures, one of the things that we see is the little capture camera icon and this also has the camera icon. So if I want to edit this, all I have to do is click on it and drag it and drop it down to this Quick Capture tab, and it will load that back into this Quick Capture tab so I can modify it. There's a couple of ways I can modify it. Obviously, what I can do is right-click and say Convert to Local Queue. I can also change the zone assignments. I can override the original zone in that. This queue up here, the original zone was Zone 1. But I can right click and override that if I want to. So that's one thing that I can do to edit this. And obviously other things we can do are drag and drop additional cues in here to edit that. And so if, if we like that more than we like the other one, what I could just do is drag and drop that in there. So that's a way in which you can edit the quick capture as well. So a pretty handy tool and basically it's a way that you can have multiple things running and you collect them into a single queue. The visuals up here in these mixed tabs, what you'll notice is that these visuals are really pretty complex, you know, con consisting of at least two images, if not three images at the same time. And the way that these were made was simply by triggering some of the things on these pages. Like, for example, I click on that, go into a multi mode. And let's say like this, if we like that, just drag and drop it. So that's, you can see that that's just a really handy way to create multiple images 
all collected at the same time for convenient use later on. So pretty handy tool there. So very handy for creating, capturing complex output into a single queue.